Hello, this is Angie at Polished Picture, and I want to show you a video of a head swap. Um, fall pictures are coming out for a lot of people, and um, for me, one of the toughest things about group pictures is that it is very unusual to have everybody looking the same direction at the same time with a cute expression on their face, um, especially kids. So I use head swaps all the time. So I am going to show you a quick video on how I do this. Um, this image right here is the final image that um, we produced, and it was taken from this image here and this image here. So you can see how I combined them uh, to come up with this image. So the first thing I kind of look for is which one to kind of use as my base image. I look at the way the positioning of their arms and faces and all of that. Um, so for this particular one, I chose this to be my base image and I'm just gonna replace his face right here. So obviously you can see the selection I drew. Um, I just did that with the lasso tool and I just made, you know, clicked and dragged a circle around that and it does not have to be perfect. I just kind of leave a wide enough area to where I can erase stuff out. And then basically I copy that and I come over to this one and paste it right on top. Um, and then I kind of move it into place and you can, I think for this one, I even had to turn this a little bit just to get it, you know, a little bit more how I want it and you kind of move it up and down and all around and, and this takes some time. Sometimes you can do them really quickly and sometimes they just take some finagling to get them exactly, um, you know, to look seamless like you didn't just swap ahead. So anyways, um, once you kind of paste it in place, then the next thing to do is to put a layer mask on it. And so make sure this uh, layer is um, selected and go ahead and add your layer mask and then get your brush tool. So hit B or choose over here. And um, I always make sure that the hardness is set to 0% so you have a really soft brush and choose black as your foreground color. We're gonna start painting away some of these edges. And then so you just kind of kind of pay attention to clothing and where everything is falling and all of that. So like I said, some of this I sometimes look at collars, try to line up collars and ears and all of those things. And then you can always get your brush tool, pop back on this mask, and if you paint it out too much, you can uh, hit X and switch these, foreground and background, and then paint some more in. Let's see here. Nope, we're going the wrong direction. We're going to undo that. It's actually looking pretty good. Sorry, I'm not saying a whole lot, but you see it takes a little bit of concentration to blend this in. So it's pretty seamless. So I'm going to scoot him out a little bit. You can see down here, I'm trying to kind of line up his chin a little bit. And what I'm going to do, because his ear looks like it's being a shame, I'm going to click on this mask, take this out so you can see. Basically, I need to bring back some of this ear. So I'm going to take a white brush, so hit X to switch these. And I'm going to paint on the layer mask with the white to reveal this. I just did that for a second so you could see what I was actually doing. Um, I'm paint back in his chin. And that background layer on. Let's see. Take some of this out. Sometimes with clothes and creases in the clothes, you can kind of fudge your way through some of it. But I think this looks pretty good. Um, it's not perfect at the moment. If I was really doing this, I might take a little more time and make sure all the edges and stuff are blended. But that gives you an idea. Um, of how we basically went from this image to this image and then with a little further editing um, you know with cropping and straightening and you know brightening the colors a little bit I ended up here so anyways I hope that was helpful um, if you have any questions feel free to drop me a note and thanks for watching